I S U P K. Get that John 422. John 422. Ye worship ye. Ye worship ye know not what. Right, right. I'm gonna give you the backdrop of this, man. Now this is Christ right here, man, speaking to the Samaritan woman. Now the Samaritan woman is the Ethiopians, okay? Now, you go back and read the second Ezra's 13th chapter, man, you'll realize that our brothers in the northern kingdom, they came together on one consent and they left their land. They left the land that the most high has given them, okay? Now there was a split between, uh, you will read the second king, there was a split, okay? Between the northern king and the southern king, but the northern king had left, they was got captured by the Assyrians, okay? All right, now these brothers, they came on one consent, said we were gonna leave, and what happened was they traveled, and they came to Americas. That's why you get the Incas, the Mayas, the Aztecs, okay? That's where you get them from, man, because our brothers left that land, and they came over here to America, in South America. That's why, that's why Christ knew this right here. That's why Christ was telling this woman this right here. Now, now jump up a little bit. You go to uh, Second Kings, the, the, the seventeenth chapter, and it'll talk about when the Syrians came in and and, and invaded the land. Okay, and those people that was in that land at that time was not our people. That's what Christ told the disciples: do not go into the cities of the Samaritans, because He knew that the brothers and sisters. Was, <laughs> so he knew that the brothers that was in that in in that. Uh, so like, he knew the people that was in there was not. The same people on this sign right here. He knew that. You understand? <laughs> he knew that, man. So he's telling this woman here, this Ethiopian woman, this African woman, ye know not what you worship because y'all don't know the God of that land. I, okay? Go ahead. We know what we worship. Christ knew what we worship. Because that was the God of Israel, man. He knew that who, what we had to do. He knew that we had to celebrate the Passover. He knew we had to celebrate the high holy days, man. The Shabbat, man. He knew them things, man. He said, we know how we supposed to be worshiping, man. But y'all know not how you supposed to be worshiping because this woman in that land there, she was not of our people, man. She was a Samaritan. She was an Ethi uh, Ethiopian, man. You understand? Keep going. For salvation is of the Jews. Hold on, man. What did Christ tell this, this Ethiopian? For salvation is of the Jews. Right. For salvation is of the who? For salvation is of the Jews. Right. Salvation is of the Jews. Who are the Jews? What you see on this sign right here, man? It ain't talking about everybody, man. Christ was telling that that other that uh, that Ethiopian, yo, salvation on for our people, man. That's right. That's it. Nobody else. You understand? But the Christian church would tell you Christ came out to save everybody, man. Why isn't your pastor pulling this scripture out? You understand? And the craziest thing about it is that well, we all in New Testament. New Testament is all about love, but God, we read it right here. Christ was over here giving, cutting her, man. Getting right. to a raw. Right. He was getting to a raw and rugged, man. You understand? Cause he was not that soft white boy right here that you see on the side, man. Right. With no doggy hair, man. He was a strong, steer man, man. That's right. And what, how he, how he's put it down? That's how he had to go, man. He gave order, and the brothers did it. You understand? He was a strong brother, man. You understand? What we got here? All right. We go to Acts 5 and 30. 31. You understand? We're going to get some more, man. I told you, man, today, man, ICBK, man, we are the home of the truth, man. That's you understand? Fair. On the commander general your heart, man. And we got strong brothers by here who's willing to come out here and risk their life, man, to wake up their people, man. 
wake up our people, man. To wake up the black, Hispanic, Native American Indians, man. Because I know y'all sick and tired of watching the news and seeing brothers being killed by the police, man. Trust me. I know you're sick and tired of reading and talking about how the cops have, have been, uh, how, like, how brothers have been hung on the tree, how the sisters That's have been one, hanging two. on the tree, man. You know what I'm saying? Leaving brothers' bodies on a crime scene for over four, maybe five hours, man. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just leaving them open, man, with no cover over top of them, man. What a respect. I know y'all tired of seeing the brothers who was getting hung in Oklahoma City, man. Right. They dismantled the brothers' bodies, man. Right. White men. Tested. You understand? Christ came back to save our people, man. And we coming out back up here to save our people, man. That's right. They chopped the sister up in Central Park, man. You know what I'm saying? How long do y'all want to continue to do this, man? We're going to come out and bring the truth, man. We ain't, we here, man. We in North Virginia, man. We are here to wake our people up, man, and teach. Just like Christ commanded the, the disciple to teach their people, we are here to teach our people too, man. You understand? We got that. Acts chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. The God of who? The God of our fathers raised up Raised up Jesus. The God of our Father raised up Jesus, man. The God of Israel raised up Christ, man. You understand? Go ahead. Whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Everybody understand that, man. Christ was hung. He wasn't hung on a tree, man. But the cross was made of wood. You get the wood from where? A tree. You understand? Go ahead. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince. Hold on a second. Go back. Him have God exalted. Him has God exalted. God had raised him up, man. God had put him up on a high pedestal, man, to be a king, man, when he come back down here, man, to rule, okay? Go ahead. To be a prince and a savior. To be a prince and a savior. Let's see if he talk about everybody, man. Let's see if he talk about everybody, man. Let's see if your pastor can get one right today. You understand? Go ahead. For to give repentance, repentance to Israel. Hold on, man. Take it down slow for people out there to hear this, man. Who say what? Repentance to who? Give repentance to Israel. Give repentance to Israel, man. It does not say everybody, man. It does not say everybody, man. You understand? Now. Once again, man, if anybody feel like their ancestors did something wrong to us and want to feel sorry, you can always come up here. It's always a, a way to, to, to basically say you're sorry, man. And it's in the scripture. You know what I'm saying? You want to? You want to? Are you feeling some kind of way about what we're saying today? What do you what do you think about what the Hebrew Israelites are saying today? I just want to know if y'all for Christ, right? Yeah, we're for Jesus Christ. Jesus I'm Christ is, is a black man. You got to hear me out. What's your name? Alex, I don't understand that. I understand what y'all are here for. I respect that. Okay, but are, we we asking you, are you going to right the wrongs of your people today? It's something that you can do. Okay, you can say that out of your mouth, but is it... Is it we will not have a prayer until you do what the Bible say. You have to prove that you are uh, repentant of what your foremothers and forefathers. You have to. You have to prove it. We, every, you, everybody can say what they want. Everybody can say what they want. We're gonna pray after you show, not by your, what you say it out of your mouth, but your deeds. Right? Give me the scripture. I just want to know if y'all all First John pray for this, three, three and, and eighteen. 18 right. Give me 1 John 3 and 18. We have to do it by the, what the Bible say. We've been listening to what white people say for 400 years, right. and it's I'm nothing but slavery, rape, robbery, and murder. Right. You understand? You want to pray, but I want you to go and do what the Bible says to show that you're sorry for what your foremothers and forefathers have done to us in this captivity. Right. Like, it's, it's one thing to go into slavery, but the things that your foremothers and forefathers that have done to black people have, uh, you know, destroyed us completely. From it's Ireland, good. You're from Ireland. I'm from Ireland. The Irish are, are, are some of the main ones that offended black say, people. All I can say well, you didn't come here to, to here do. To pray for well, you, you ain't come here to do what it takes for in order for God to be sorry for 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 the crimes that your foremothers and forefathers did. Everyone's punished every day. 
No, well, we 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 need to go. We need for you to go into slavery. That's, that's what right. we need to that's do. Right. That's right. That's right. How, how are we I going am. to ever uh, get on a, a, a I, I solid am. friendship if I am. you don't give me my wallet back? You stole my wallet, years but you don't. Know, but that, that's from you your own people. Why is I committed against but, my own people? Listen, that's what, that's, we ain't talking about that. Slavery. We don't care about that. All, I can All we care people. about is what you, another nation, peace? have done as a, a crime of war against peace? another We're people. You have No, we're not here for peace. Jesus Christ is coming to destroy America That's right. and to destroy white society. If you're mad at the people who locked you up, your people who locked you up, you should be on your knees right now, according to this Bible. Because you know that good people are wrong even when they locked you up. You understand? They locked you up. So I'm going to show you, God if you want to really be sorry, God you, you want to really you. show you. something, you. if you don't want to be a devil like you're being right now, you don't you. have the power to bless us. All you have the power to do is destroy us. Christ you us. understand? Not me. Listen, Christ. Christ is not blessing us because we We're think that you're, that this is Jesus Christ. You see this crime right here? You, your people have to pay for the this crime of Lying on Jesus Christ you, is a you, black man. You See, you're not a repentant devil. You understand? You're just a lying devil. You just want to hear, be heard. You came over here. You didn't come over here and show. Christ you, 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 no, you're not a disciple of Christ. You're not a disciple of Christ. You're a devil. That's what you are. You understand? You understand? First John 3 and 18. Let's read that. First John chapter 3 verse 18. My little children, let us not love in words. You understand? My little children, let us not love in words. Right. The white man want to be yap, 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 yap. He want to talk, talk, talk. Right. The white man is all about talk when he got that gun on you. You understand? When he's shooting you in the back as the police officer, he's all talk about love and peace That's until right. you find him in that dark alley. That's right. Drop dead. Right. Neither in tongue, neither in tongue. We hear the white man talking about peace, peace, and love, love all day in the goddamn Christian church. But what do we really see? You understand? What does he really think about you? You understand? He hates you. He wants to murder you. You understand? That's the white man. For 400 years, you can't trust the goddamn word that the white man say out of his stinking mouth. Right. Read on. But indeed, but indeed. The white man don't want to do nothing to show that he's sorry right. for what he did to black people. Right. You understand? So he took his behind up the street. But if you, brother or sister, if you want to find out what you need to do to repent, you understand, in order to see the kingdom of heaven where only black people are going to be in charge, yes, right. these families right here on that side are going to rule the kingdom of heaven right That's now. Right. You right. understand? Give me Revelation 13 and 9. Okay, what we fail to realize is the white man got to pay for his crime. That's right. That's right. You understand? Your Christianity, they didn't taught you to love massa all day, every day, but those days is over. That's you understand? Right. Right. You can't get free by joining your slave master. Martin Luther King and all them Uncle Tom Negroes and sold you to the white man. Okay? Sold you cheap. You understand? Now look at us. 60 years later after the civil rights, and what do we have left? We don't have a black business to be found because of the lies of joining our slave master. You understand? Revelation 13 and 9. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear. If any man have an ear. Everybody got physical ears. Read on. Let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. You understand? If a man take another man into captivity. If he take him and put him into slavery. Read shall go into captivity shall what shall go into captivity that's right. the bible that's the new testament that's it right. ain't say turn the other cheek right. you got that scripture mixed up you understand you're supposed to love your brother that's, that's who right. you're supposed to forgive that's right. but if you take a man into captivity you lead a man into captivity you what shall go into captivity oh that's biblical right. you understand right. the people who put the so-called Negro in the slavery must go into captivity, That's right. according to the Bible. Now you take that up with God if you don't like that, but I want to get free. I'm tired of the white man, okay? Right. Come on. He 
that killeth with the sword. He that killeth with the sword. The white man killed 99 million black people on the way over here in slavery. He killed 77 million of our Native American Indian brothers and sisters, Latinos, countless millions of people that he slayed. He killed us with the sword. Reed must be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Not kinda, sorta, or maybe we can get along, you know and say, or maybe we can join hands and hold hands and, and sing, uh, uh, and pray together and sing songs together. Damn that. Read it again. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You understand? Listen, it's only fair. I'm about justice. I'm about equality. You understand? You killed our people with the sword. You took us and put us into captivity. Right. You got to go into captivity and you got to taste that sword. That's you understand? Right. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's and right. you the only one going to be in charge when he come back. That's black man and black woman. So you better get used to it. We getting fully used to it over here. That's you right. understand? That's what's going on over here. That's right. All right? And, and I'm going to show you the, the intelligence of what we're talking about. Because otherwise, you're going to rush to join the white man and you're going to die. Right, you're going right. to join the white man's military right. and you're going to die. Right. You're going to join the white man's uh, police force and you're going to die. Right. You're going to become a homosexual like the white man and you're going to die. You understand? This, this white man don't have nothing good for you. You're going to uh, sell the white man's drugs and you're going to die. You understand? Right. That's what's uh, looking at you if you don't understand what we're saying. Read on. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You understand? If you was wise, you understand? If you were faithful, you understood what God was all about. You wouldn't say, well, you know, slavery was 400 years ago. Maybe we should just forget about it. You understand? Maybe we should just forget about it and, you know, let bygones be bygones. And if we can't beat them, we got to join them. But now, nah, you understand? The Bible speaks otherwise. This Bible is saying that you got vengeance coming you from the Lord. The Lord is going to take the so-called white man and to put him in his place. What? You don't understand what you're dealing with right now. You understand? The time is up for your slavery, black man and black woman. you walking around like this is life and this is how it's going to be forever. You understand? We just, you know, I do the best that I can or what have you, but I ain't expecting much. But you should be expecting to rule the kingdom of heaven. Right. Rule on the planet Earth. That's rule that's with right. your brothers and sisters. You understand? That's what you're going to be getting week in and week out right here on this corner. Okay? We, we done looked all around. You understand? We see it. This is the place that you, that you need to be in. You understand? You think that the white man is going to help you when he shut down, shut down the ports, shut down the jobs? You understand? Put the military on the street? What, what do you think is going to happen around here? You think the white man going to take care of us? He ain't going to never take care of us. Okay? You understand? We ain't the black Ku Klux Klan. You understand? We the black love group. That's what we are. We love black people. We showing black people love. That's right. That's what we doing out here. Just in case you was wondering, don't let nobody say that anytime you see a strong, strong black man standing up on the corner, you understand, St speaking out for his people, that there's something wrong with that. You understand, there's something wrong with them if they would speak out against any black man that had the welfare and benefit of his people right. in his mind and in his heart. Right, and he's right. willing to die for his people. Right. To come out just like Jesus Christ when that pork chop eating pastor sit up in the goddamn Christian church and don't do nothing but get rich. That's right. You understand? That's all he doing. That's he right. ain't doing nothing for black people. Okay? You 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 understand what, what you what you got faced with dealing with the so-called white man in this country? You understand, after 400 years of slavery, after a so-called black president, he wasn't even really black. This, this is point number one. That's Obama right. is an African, and you ain't African. Right. Right. You understand? Come up here and get a flyer, read the signs, get your pastor, you understand? Get Big Mama, get them all. Right. You understand? Get them all. We're going to take on every lie that you have ever seen in your life and crush it. That's crush right. it in the powder. You understand? In the smithereens. That's what's getting ready to happen when you come up against the Lord. You want to even roll with the Most High? 
or you're going to get down because he's going to roll all over top of you. Okay? Right. That's what's going on around here. That's right. right. So I'm going to give it back to the brother. All right. The white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. He is the devil. He is not to be trusted. He is not to be loved. He is not to be respected. I ain't telling you I got to disobey his laws. Don't break his laws. Obey his laws. Don't give him power to put you in a damn cell. Don't give him power to drag you in a court and take your children away from you. Don't give him that type of power. But don't give him your goddamn love either. Because he is the devil the Bible speaks of. You all saw that little smooth face, but blonde haired blue eyed boy come up and start to talk all this peace and love and peace and love. And as soon as we say peace and love for black people, he left. As soon as we say peace and love for Hispanics and Native Indians, he left. That's right. If we was talking about peace and love for the whales and the dolphins, he'd be right here. If we was talking about peace and love for the damn dogs and the fishes and the pussycats, they would be out here with us. But then in America, you are not allowed to feel sorry for black people. In America, you are not allowed to cry and mourn for Hispanics and Native Indians. The only people's lives who matter are white lives. Well, in the Bible, the, the Bible says the white man is the devil. Yes, and you sir. are to resist the devil. Yes, Give me the scripture out nice and loud. Come on, come on, sir. James chapter 4, verse 7. Go ahead. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Go ahead. Resist the devil. Read again from the top. Come on, come on, sir. James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourself. Therefore to God. Do what? Submit yourself. Do what? Submit yourself. So why is your Christian preacher telling you God's laws are done away with? Right. The right. Bible says submit yourselves right. in the New Testament. That's right. The New Testament so says submit yourself, which means God laws still stand. That's right. Which means you still can't eat pork, right. even though the white man says it's the other white meat. Right. Which means you still can't eat shrimp. Right. Crab and lobster, That's even right. though this damn devil tell you it's a delicacy. Right. Read it again. Submit yourself. To who? Therefore, to God. To who? To God. To who? To God. Now to America. To God. To the white man. To God. To Donald Trump. To God. To immigration. To God. To who? To God. To who? To God. You obey God and God will put your enemies to death. That's, That's right. right. God said, submit yourself to him. Obey God. We're so busy trying to be a good damn Christian. Right. We're so busy trying to be a good patriotic American. For goddamn what? We celebrating 4th of July and Independence Day. Black men, what are we independent from? White men call a food stamps card right now. The whole neighborhood go hungry. Right. Right. The white man decide he ain't hiring no more black people right now. We done. Right. What are we independent from? You right. know why? Because we submit ourselves to that damn flag. That's right. And every day them racist white devils in uniform murdering our brothers. And we still submit to the flag. God damn this place, man. The white man is the devil. That's and he right. needs right. to be put to death by the hands of yeah. God. Right. Right. Not nobody else. I'm telling you, take up no guns. No right. bullet can, can destroy this kingdom. I ain't telling you, take up no bombs. God needs to bathe the streets of America in the blood of the white man. Right. Not right. you, not me. We obey God, and our Father will flood this place in his blood. Right. Read again. Submit yourself. Therefore, to God, Go ahead. resist the devil. Do what? Resist the devil. Do what? Resist the devil. Y'all was all watching when John Cabral was up here dealing with this white boy. And you're wondering, well, why he ain't letting the white boy talk? Why he ain't agreeing with the white boy? The white boy come in peace. He in flip-flops and shorts. Ain't harm, he ain't harmful at all. But the Bible says what? Resist the devil. You know why we ain't give him no air? Because the white man is what? The devil. He is what? The the devil. He is what? The devil. Oh, that little blue-eyed, blonde-haired, what? White boy, what is he? The devil. And what does the Bible say to do to the devil? Resist the devil. Keep going. And he will flee from you. That's why he jumped in his car and left. Because the devil, all he wants to do is seek and destroy. That's right. He like a programmed missile. No matter what, the white man, it is, it's in his blood to murder. It's in his blood to rape. It's in his blood to steal. It's in, listen, the white man is a real drug dealer. I'm gonna tell you straight up. 
We're busy trying to do it. We do it halfway. A brother might buy a Benz. He might get a plane ticket. But the white man is shipping it in. Go ask Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan. Right. Go ask Oliver North. The white men build an entire economy on drug dealing. He lock us up for an ounce of weed, legalize the weed, and now he's the big weed dispensary. That's gangster. Because the white man is the real criminal. He is about seek and destroy. He is about search and kill. He is the hunter of the earth. He is the murderer of the earth. And that's why you got to flee from him, man. Give me it in the Apocrypha, man. Give me it in the, in the, in the Ecclesiasticus. Give me what, what I was holding, 12. What did I want? Give me right here. Give me keep far from me. Go ahead. Oh my God. Because he has to get chapter 8 verse 13. Nine. Verse 9 verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. Do what? Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. The Bible says stay far from a man that has power to kill. History done showed us this white man got the power to take our life and go home to his family every day. Right. right. Anybody out here mad about police brutality? Anybody out here mad about Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Oscar Brego? You mad, brother? Do you know why we suffering at the hands of these white people? Let me, I hear you. Say again. Say one more time. The what? Because of our black skin? You right, but there's something else. You know why? The Africans got dark skin like us. Name me one African these white cops murdered. That's right. right. The Arabs got dark skin like us. Right now, the Arabs, they blew up what? The Trade Center? They stealing cars and running people over in New York? Right. Give me one Arab, one white cop murdered because he's a terrorist. None. They don't do it. The government did the World Trade Center. Well, that's up for debate. I got you, brother. I got you. But listen to the point. Listen to the point I'm making. I got you on that. But listen to the point I'm making. Whether the government did it or not, we are dying at the hands of these devils. Right. And the point I'm, listen to what I'm saying, brother. This, just understand what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, brother. Whether they did it, whether it was an inside job, it doesn't matter if we are still dying. And the point I'm making is, whether it's an inside job, it wasn't an inside job when them Arabs stole that Home Depot truck in New York and ran people over. That wasn't an inside job. That was legitimate Arabs. The Boston bombing was two devils, two Arabs from Chechnya that took a damn pressure cooker and blew up a marathon. That was not an inside job. And them cops did not murder them two Arabs. Them cops arrested them. Dylan Storm Roof, a white boy, went into a church in South Carolina, murdered, murdered nine black people, and them cops didn't murder him. They, inter they arrest him. They took him to Burger King. They threw him in a helicopter. So my point is, if all this is going on, why are we the ones that are dying? You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because we joined America. Yes. You want somebody to blame for police brutality? Blame Martin Luther King. Yes. Before civil rights, we were separate. We were se segregation was our protection, man. It was our protection. Listen, the you, 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 you're not in your head. You know why you're not in your head? Because we can't see life without the white man. As a people, we cannot see life separate from white people. And what color is Jesus Christ? What color? It doesn't matter. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, brother. Read the scripture again. I'm not trying to debate, but how in the world can you 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 be the word of God, right? Come on. I got all these dudes, man. Okay, so how in the world? Because the Bible says God is love, right? Right. And the Bible says to test the spirits, right? That's right. So how in the world can you preach hate if you got if you don't have no love? But how is this hate? That is hate. Can you say about white man? That's racist. 
the white man is murdering brothers. I am saying the white man is evil for murdering brothers, and hold I'm on, the one who is hateful. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Be but be I'm saying that's the one who is hateful. That's racism. That's not racism. That's, 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 listen, that's not racism, brother. Read the scripture one more time. We're gonna go into the Bible. We're gonna go into it. No, no, I'm telling him to read it. You will go ahead, Ark. Keep the law from the man that have power to kill. Read again. Keep the law from the man that have power to kill. What? Explain this. Keep the law from the man that have power to kill. Do what? Keep the law from the man that have power to kill. The Bible says, stay far from the man that has power to kill. The white, listen, the American government dropped bombs on Tulsa, Oklahoma. Killed 3,000 people, and that is not considered a terrorist act. The American government dropped bombs on a church in Philadelphia that was housing homeless parents with children. Oh, you, no, you're making an excuse for them. But when I talk about it, you say I'm racist. Can we, can we say the American government is racist? Is it, brother, is the American government racist? 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 Can you say it? Is the American government... I'm going to come to you, brother. I'm going to come. Give me one second. Is the American government racist? Is the American government racist? Is the American government racist? Oh, man, brother, listen. That's what I'm talking about, man. We got to be real if we're going to be... I'm going to come to you, brother. We got to be real if we're going to be real. Donald Trump said... The, we got an immigration problem with Mexicans, right? That's what he said. Who is the largest group of illegal... Hold on, brother, hold on. Hold on, brother. Who is the largest group of illegal immigrants in America? Huh? Oh, brother, who's the largest group of illegal immigrants in America? I need my money. I need my phone. Who, the white man? No. Who? The Asians. The, the Asians is the largest group of undocumented illegal immigrants in America. But it's a free country, though. But if it's free, why aren't Hispanics allowed to come over here and live? This is their land. Long before Columbus, Tahino Indians were all over America. The answer was there. The Indian was there. For all of us. That's what I'm saying. So how could now there be illegal immigrants if this is a free country? But the largest group of illegal immigrants are the Asians. Right. But ICE ain't kicking in their doors. Right. They're kicking in the Mexicans' doors. That's right. Why is that? If the American government is not racist. See what I'm saying, brother? Yeah, but yet still, you say I'm preaching I mean, the government is, is, is always going to be racist. Always but you didn't say that a minute ago. You didn't say that a minute ago. I had to give you all this proof. But also, it shouldn't, but, but we shouldn't also, need but, proof anymore. But also, listen, you control by the Vatican because you got Jesuits. And who in, the, who in the Vatican? Is the, what, what race is the Pope? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Pope. What, what race is he? Right. Right. He's a white man. Yeah. Right. What, what race are his cardinals? What race are his bishops? What race are his priests that molesting boys? They're all white. Come on. So like, that, is, that is the key right there. Yeah. Are you homosexual? No. But why is the Roman Catholic Church, you talk about the Jesuits and everything like that, why are black people becoming so much a homosexual all over the place? If it's not for the adoption of white people's values and the Christian well, church's well, values. Well, 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 for one thing, it's sin. Because the Bible says, without, because what, the Bible says for the wages of sin is death. Right. But to get the God is to turn out through Christ Jesus. Yeah, guess right. what? He then, who, he who received the law, statutes, commandments in the scriptures? Uh, Moses. But who did he give them to? God gave them to him. I said, he, who did Moses give the law, statutes, he gave and commandments? To the, he gave it to the Jews, the Israelites. To the Israelites. Uh, That's right. Israelites. So, so, so uh, I ain't talking about white people's sin. I'm talking about. No, sin. no, and it's sin, sin, brother. No, not, no, no, sin, sin is no not sin. <laughs> sin is not We're talking about the crimes of the white man. No. You are protecting the white man. I'm not right. protecting the white man. You understand? You are abetting, abetting, what is that, abetting, abetting, yeah, yeah, aiding and abetting the white man I'm with his crime. I'm not protecting the white man. We're black people to stay away from murderers I'm not of the white man. Of our race. The white man has put us in slavery. You understand? He destroyed 99 million of us on the way over here. He killed the Native American Indians and said now that they Illegal Indians or what have you. We that. saying to stay away from the man that, that has the power to kill. But, but, you but, understand? But what did Jesus say? To love one another. But guess what? He was talking about black people. No. Right. 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 Yes. I bet right. you I can prove you wrong. Right. 
talking to everybody. You mean, you mean okay, yeah. What is the Holy Spirit told, told you? The Bible tells no, me no, 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 who no, 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 Christ no. died no, for. The Bible said, no, no, no. It says Jesus died it, for everybody. It does not say that. I bet you I'll prove you a goddamn lie right here on the Bible. Hey, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's right. You just said the Lord's name, baby. You just said the Lord's name, baby. That ain't the Lord's name. That ain't his name. Don't be mad. The name you of the most high in the Bible. You just said the Lord's we name. Are name we are the scholars. We are scholars. No. We read and speak the, the biblical and Hebrew. No. You understand? No. God is a goddamn Greek word. No. You understand? But, but, you know they, damn, damn is in the Bible all over the place. So how the hell? But we understand that. Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. Give me Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew 21. He, this, this Negro right here thinks that white Jesus died for everybody. No, I didn't say white Jesus. Understand, What color is he? You said, hold on. Listen, he just said five minutes ago when the priest asked him, what color is Jesus Christ? The Negro said, it don't matter. I got all of y'all. You heard him. He said it don't matter. All of y'all masters. You understand the Jews? I test all of y'all to the Bible. You the damn lie. I'll prove it. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. You understand? Read Matthew 1 and 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 2. The scripture says to break thy cause with thy brother. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. You understand? Mary was going to have Jesus Christ. Read on. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And when he was born, you're going to name him Jesus. Read on. Shall save his people from their sin. You understand? His people. Not everybody. Now, I know, because first of all, you, 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 you first of all, y'all not God's God. children. Y'all not God's children. That Jesus Christ was going to die for his people and their sin. That ain't everybody. That ain't everybody. You what did I ask you to do? What did I ask you to do? Jeremiah 14 and 2. I said that according to the Bible, the Jews. Jews are black, and this Negro said, no, they're not. We're going to find out if he's a liar again. Hold on. Read. Hold on. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. The Jews are in mourning. The Jews are in mourning. White people calling themselves Jewish are not in mourning. They own the diamond district. They own Hollywood. You understand? They are doing everything in their power to run the whole earth. You understand? Everybody fighting over a land over in Israel that belongs to no one but the Jews over here. The, the real Jews are in mourning and slavery under the so-called white man. You understand? The first, first fire, last hire. That's who we are. That's who we are. The real Jews are in morning according to the scripture it says read it again Judah morning it says the Jews are in morning read on and the gates thereof language the gates thereof language the Jews are a people and they have gates and it says that their gates are language meaning that their gates are weak they have weak gates gates are used to keep people in or keep people out so if you have a, have a weak gate what does that mean you have Somebody that's able to come through and do anything you want or somebody able to take away from you what you are trying to protect. You understand? Your, gate, your gates have language and Judah is a people. So it's saying that your leadership is weak. The people who are supposed to protect you, your leaders are your gates. They're supposed to protect you. They're supposed to keep the people who are harming you out. Keep you in safe and sound. But it says that our gates are weak. Read it again. Judah Mourneth, and the gates that are languish. They are black. They are what? They are black. The word Judah is short. When we say Jew, it means Judah. You understand? So you cut again, Negro. Yes, Take your right. simple behind up the street. Yes, you understand? The Jews are back. Well, read it again. They are black. It says that the Jews are what? They are black. The Jews are black. Now, now, now what you gonna do? What you gonna do now? The Bible is talking about you, black man. The Jews are black. That's right. That's right. Damn that. Can I ask you the truth you? gonna come out. Read on. Onto the ground. They are black into what? Onto the ground. You dig up the, the, the concrete, and what do you see when you dig up the concrete? The dirt, and it ain't white. 
It's black. That's right. The, the black. The different shades of brown. That's what the goddamn color of the earth is when you dig it up. Okay? I'm the man. Read on. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. You understand? The Jews are in mourning and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. If you had been checking the news out, you've seen black people screaming out in, in pain because of the, white, the treatment of the so-called white man. The cry is going up to the Father, except for we got to change what we're doing, how we operate. We got to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. You understand? Because Jesus Christ was sent by God Almighty, and he only came to save his people from their sins. Right. That's right. why we're out here. That's right. We ain't out here to save white people. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 